How you doing guys? It's John again with the uh, pink Prusa. It's uh, back up and running again. I just wanted to show off. I'm looking at these bar clamps and I just have to say they look amazing. For a bar clamp, that looks pretty darn good. I'm running Gen 6. For all of you that don't know, Gen 6 is from MendelParts.com. It's not as popular as the ramps, but that's what I got with my bot mill kit that I never finished. And these parts look amazing. I have a little trouble at the beginning of my prints because I'm using blue tape instead of a heated build, uh, build plate. So that kind of messes me up at the beginning. But at the end, they look really good. And just wanted to show those off real quick. I've got some other parts, but they're in bags. So that's all for now. Hey, guys. About 30 seconds after that last clip ended, my printer finished. So now the much, much better uh, image of what the bar clamps look like. And this is just a sample of the quality I'm pushing out right now. Uh, thanks to my printer. It's doing really well. I am using blue uh, tape instead of actual heated bed. And this is PLA, so it, it does work real, uh, fairly decently. It has a little rough going at the beginning, but it does get better over uh, the next few layers. And as you can see... That is some freaking solid print quality. I compare that because that's all I have. Because all I have to compare it against is the current bot I have, the pink one. Uh, that is what a bar clamp looked like when I got got it from Neil. Sorry about that. Sorry, Neil. But he had a uh, cupcake CNC with a DC extruder, and he says the pink is really hard to print with. So this compared to this. It's not hard to tell. Okay, these are really great, and this is the first time I'll be pulling these off. Oh, yeah, you need eight of these for a Prusa, and I have four more to go to fill my rewards. Look at the bottom. Just a slightly better than the top. Once it gets focused, there it is. So these look absolutely, this is no cleanup, no cleanup whatsoever. Perfect pieces and just enough bend in them to tighten them down. And these come right on off. I'm going to grab a bag of parts that I've been printing for my backers and they go right inside that bag. And I do this uh, four more times today and I'll be set for the day. I'm trying to make all these rewards fulfilled. So if you're one of my backers and you got the 250 level, this is one of your kits right here. Ready to go. Getting ready to go. Hey guys, uh, I just want to give you another quick update. I've gone through some pieces so far. And uh, once this pops back out, you'll be able to see. I don't know how much better I can make that. There are barely any blobs, no, absolutely zero strings, and just the slightest little bit of warping, a wobbling, right here on these two metal pieces. Not even sure why, but just a, almost, almost nothing. I don't know how to make this print any better, so this is my perfect piece so far. This pops out in just a second, you'll be able to see it. Pull my reel down a little bit. Actually, almost out of silver PLA, as you can see. Almost out of silver PLA. This is over five pounds, or five pounds worth. And I've got a lot of prints out of it. All done. Absolutely perfect. No strings whatsoever. Now let's see how well I can actually get it off. Got my knife now. 
I've been prying it up from this side here. Usually they're so hot that you might melt they might warp them, but this one's a pretty large piece, so don't have to worry about that. This one. Okay, it's okay, we're back. We're back, no big deal. Everyone okay? Okay, we're okay. Really stuck to the bottom there. Here's the bottom. Perfect piece. Uh oh, got one string right there. Fail. Try over. Start over. But looking really freaking good. It's just too bad that I had to get to that point. And I'm almost out of PLA to start making prints like this. This is looking good. And this is going to go into my bank of parts right over here. Can't really tell, but there's dozens of parts right here. That's part of this printed. Two on the floor. Got that part. And then the bags and bags of parts. So you got this one I just made, and that'll go into my most complete bag. And I got all the Y motor mounts printed, all the Y, all the uh, motors for the end stops done, rod clamps. This one has bar clamps already done. So does this one. So these two are the most complete. Uh, these three still need bar clamps. Uh, what else we got? We got this I just printed because I want to get one full set to send off real quick. So that one will go this. And this actually is a rubber band bow and arrow kit. So yeah, that's how that goes. And he said he wanted to, the guy that um, bought it for me on Kickstarter says he wants to put it together, so he'll put it together. But I tested it and I drilled all the holes out. I didn't melt it together yet because he wants to do that, so it's together. That's the progress so far. It's looking really good. 